This video is going to help you complete part two of the color collage assignment. The first thing you're going to do is open up the assignment. You can find it under the assignment page and it is called photography po project part two. Let me try that again. Photography project number two, color collage part two. You will see it says click on this link to open a copy of the color collage. So you're gonna go ahead and do that using your school email address, of course. Yours will most likely just log you right in, but for some reason, mine is having me log in. Once this opens, you can click make a copy and the blank color collage will look the same for everyone. It will just be a big black box. I always recommend once your copy is open, go ahead and change it to your name. I always pretend my name is Jane Doe. Now what we're going to do is add in our color collage photos. Remember, if I go over to Drive, I told you guys it was really important that you made a folder containing all your pictures. So I have my green pictures right here, and now I'm gonna come back to my color collage, not Kobe Bryant, here we go, color collage. So now I'm gonna add in my pictures. I'm gonna click Insert, Image, Drive. So again, you wanna add your pictures from Google Drive, and instead of Recent, I'm gonna tap on My Drive and click on my folder that says Green Photos. I'm just waiting on it to open. Here we go. So now I have all my pictures that I took to represent the color green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start adding my pictures. I tapped on it and I hit insert. Now my picture is gonna be huge, okay? So you can um, make it smaller by hitting, um, let's see, format options size and rotation, and I can start by making it around 60. I can see if that works. But I wanna make sure the picture is not getting distorted. So if I leave it at 100, we can actually try cropping it first and then taking it from there. So I'm gonna tap on crop, which is that icon towards the top. And when crop is selected, you're gonna see these black lines appear on the side. So you want to crop your picture. If something like that happens, you can just hit edit undo. This would be easier with a mouse, but I don't have a mouse for, there we go, for my iPad. So again, if it moves around, you can just keep hitting undo. You want to crop as close to that green eye as possible. Not gonna lie, it is trickier on an iPad than on <laughs> the laptop. Ah! But we're not going to give up, ladies and gentlemen. We are just going to, there we go. I can kind of slide it around that way too. When I tap on crop again, then it will actually crop do the crop of the picture. And if you wanna get closer, you can keep hitting crop and dragging in the black lines, but there we go. As we see, if you guys could see me right now, I'm like super duper close to the screen. It would not be a flattering picture that you would be seeing. All right, now I'm ready to insert image drive. It should pull up my pictures again. So now I'm gonna tap, insert my next picture, tap crop, and we're gonna get as close, edit, undo, we're gonna get as close to the green as we can. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop that. I need to slide, there we go, hit crop, Bring in the green lines. And then now I can always do format options and I can make this 
smaller, not 180. Maybe drag in, change this to 80. There we go, so that it's a square. And then I can close format options. All right, now I'm ready to insert my next picture, drive. I have a picture from my lime tree. And I'm gonna crop nice and close. Nope, I don't want that. Those of you working on an iPad, I respect your patience because it's gonna take a little bit of patience unless you have a wireless mouse. There we go. You just have to keep practicing so that you can get it perfect. All right, insert image drive. And now I just have some grass insert. And this one I'm just going to tuck in the corner over here and I'm gonna crop way down. There we go, it actually worked. Very nice. And I want it to go inside my box here with no empty space, right? So I'm actually gonna crop this side in to line up with my succulent plant. All right, cool. So we gotta go insert, image, drive. Come back to my pictures here. And I do have this agave plant from my backyard. So let's crop this guy up. Let's go undo, cause that's not what I wanted. There we go. Crop in these sides. Just kind of have to keep playing around with it. And I'm gonna crop. And actually I should crop the top as well. Crop. And now this one I'm gonna turn sideways by clicking. Is it gonna let me? Let's see, format options. Let's go 90 degrees. There we go, perfect. And we're gonna crop it again so that it fits in this little pocket over here. Just gotta keep playing, because those black lines wanna make it a little tricky. And then I'm gonna shrink this down. Format options, I'm gonna start at 50. And then I'm gonna crop it again. Yes, all right, so now I have my agave there. And I'm gonna stretch out my lime pick if I click on crop again, it'll show me what the original picture looked like. So now I'm gonna go insert, image, drive. I have this cute little dinosaur guy. I'm gonna insert, and we gotta crop around this guy pretty good. Sometimes, no. I was gonna say sometimes, there we go. The crop is being kind to me this time. Here we go. I'm so glad you guys can't see me right now because my face is so close to the iPad. Awesome, there we go. So I'm gonna crop in my green dinosaur, insert, image, drive. And I have my purse, insert. We gotta crop around that purse. And I need to move down here. I'm gonna hit crop again. And get the bottom. Edit undo. Gotta go on that black line. There we go. Crop. And I need to crop that top out. Ah, edit undo. Turn off crop for a moment. Crop. There we go. 
and what happened there? Got rid of my bottom crop, so let's do that again. There we go. So I can rotate this one too. Oh, not flip, we wanna go 90 degrees. And right now it's too big because I gotta fit in eight, right? Edit, undo. So I'm just gonna crop, edit. Oh no, not redo, undo, undo. Now it has made, let's actually just make it smaller. And we are going to squeeze it in there. All right, one more picture to make it eight. Insert image drive. I'm gonna use my pack of gum here, insert, and we're gonna crop. There we go, it's working. Nope, edit, undo. Oh, come on. Work with me, Orbit Gum. Nope, edit, undo. Just have to be able to catch the black lines. There we go. Nope. So let's go ahead and crop that at least. And then one more crop on this side. Oh, I think I got it. Yes. But now it's not big enough, so let's make it bigger. Let's go this. Nope. Edit, undo, edit, undo. So we're actually just gonna keep the crop. We're gonna rotate it and we're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna go 150, 50, 50. There we go. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna move my gum in the middle. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, I just need to crop this one a tiny bit. Famous last words, right? Da, 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 da. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ta-da! If you are doing this on an iPad, when you finish, you're gonna click on share and you are going to share it to my email address and you will hit done and it will send it to my email. If you have any questions, let me know. I know that was a little bit tricky. Good luck.